Good morning, everybody. It is Sunday, June 11th, and we are departing our camp roughly at 7, 10 in the morning. And we're gonna be going to Siler's Ball today. As you can see, Siler's not on that sign, but it's roughly about 15 miles out. Yep, it's at mile marker 195.5, guys. Good morning. There we go, 195.5, 15 mile trek, 7, 10 start time. Stay tuned as this is supposed to be the grueling part of the hike. Hey guys, we're hiking along this morning and look at what we find, a mushroom. That is an edible mushroom. It is called chicken of the woods. Uh, this is the time of year that you can find it in the woods. Some there. Do a little bit of mushroom hunting. Some along there. And it typically grows on dead, um, dead trunks of trees. And that's good stuff, guys. You pay a lot of money for that in the grocery store. A lot of money. Usually $14 plus a pound. Yeah, $14 it's plus a pound, right? About $14 plus a pound. It's called Chicken of the Woods. There's another mushroom, different in colors, same, uh, same formation and texture. It's called Hen of the Woods. Good with garlic and onions. It sure is. Especially when your Italian wife is the one cooking them. Very good. <laughs> a, del a delicacy. Yes, it is. Just wanted to show that to you guys. <clears throat> so far, we've seen no bears. What have we seen? A wild turkey? A wild turkey. We couldn't get it on film though because it went pretty damn quick. What else? Anything else? Some squirrels? No bears though. Hiking along and I just wanted to show you because of all the foliage. Everything's blooming <clears throat> nice and green. You really can't see anything. So while you're doing the smoky section, you just gotta look forward to the lookouts and hope that um, it's a clear day so you can really see and look out and into the horizon. So we are going to Rocky Top. Uh, hopefully we'll have a nice view. We got about two more miles to go. So this is June 11th. Day number three on the Appalachian Trail. And there was rain in the forecast, but not until 4 p.m. And it is now 8.36 in the morning and we got rain. So you just never know when you're in the mountains when it's gonna come. So always be prepared. Rattler's putting on his poncho. And uh, yeah, so we still have, uh, what do we got? 10 more miles, 11 more miles. So hopefully it doesn't rain on us all day today. The Rattler is ready for the rain. <laughs> Looks like a hunchback. Look at this, he's styling. Looking good, hon. Fashion on the trail. I don't know if you can see it, but it's coming down. And we're off. There's Raven. Hey guys. Well protected. I don't know if the phone will show it to you guys, but it's coming down in sheets right now. As usual, no matter where you're at in the country or the world, Weathermen or women are always wrong. This was supposed to be 4 p.m. today and here it is, 8 something, 8.50 and yeah. All right guys, I just wanted to show you also as you're hiking along the Appalachian Trail, uh, at least here the part of the smoky section, uh, there's these white blazes. So if you don't have an app like far out, or a Garmin to help you along the way. Uh, you just follow the white blazer, like the olden days, before we got all this technology. So, just wanted to show you that. Uh, it is still raining on us. We got about another half mile before we get to Rocky Top, uh, a lookout on this section. Um, hopefully, there'll be something to see. All right, guys, we're about 6.92 miles in, averaging about a 1.9 mile an hour pace. About 11.30, I believe. And we 
rain has finally subsided off the bus a little bit. But now we're in a smoky haze. And I guess that's a good reason why they call it Smoky Mountains. Because it's always covered in by the The trail so far has been pretty relentless. Uh, a lot of rock, a lot of elevation gain up, lose it going back down, gain it going back up, lose it going back down, and then take that with all the rain, the wet shoes, socks, and quickly forming hot spots. So we got about two miles before we hit mile marker number. Not mile marker, but miles for us at nine miles where there should be the shelter, where we will partake in lunch, try to dry off a little bit, and regroup at that time. So there's your update. There's bars in front of me. And what's up? What's up? I'm dying. He's dying. He's dying. And then Yogi's ahead of him. And who knows where Raven and uh, Spider are at, but. Hey guys, about 7.34 in. And to kind, to kind of show you the terrain that we have, this is what you got. Smoke from the Smoky Mountains, uphill and downhill. One foot in front of the other. Been at this for the last four hours, about four and a half hours. Rain keeps coming and going, as, as do we. It's been raining on us all day. Kind of got split up a little bit. I am solo right now. Bars, Yogi, and Rattler are somewhere in the back. And Spider went on ahead. We are got less than half a mile to get to the one shelter just to take a break and eat some lunch. So just want to show you, the weather is not great today. We can't see a whole lot of anything as you see. It is the Smoky Mountains. It is smoky all around me. And yeah, hoping I don't run into any furry friends as we go along. I'm here by myself, but Bear attacks are so rare, and uh, you really just have to be smart about it. There are about 2,000 bears in the Smoky Mountains National Park. Um, as long as you're smart about it, don't cook where you sleep, and uh, just be safe. Stay away from a mother and cubs, which I hope I don't run into while I'm solo. But uh, as long as you're smart, smart about it, you should be okay. But anyway, uphill. It's been mostly an uphill climb today. And I just want to show you how smoky it is on a rainy day. Um, so, you know, I'm looking at the upside of it and that I could be really sweating my butt off today. But the rain is keeping me cool. Uh, so yeah, plus to everything. But it's awesome to be in God's country and just be out here and enjoy the sounds and the beauty of nature. Even when it's raining, it's beautiful. So anyway, point four. Um, I will video when I get to uh, our break, our uh, lunch stop. All right, whew, finally made it to Derek Knob Shelter. We are almost one o'clock um, from Russell Field Shelter. Starving, starving, starving. Got some serious hiker hunger right now, but super excited we made it to the shelter. I've been hiking solo now for about a mile so I just kind of been singing to myself and, you know, kind of getting lost in my thoughts, thinking about nature and all the sounds, even the beautiful sounds while it's raining out here. But here we are, we're coming. Yeah, here's Spider, he's at the shelter. He left me about, he ditched me a mile ago. <laughs> Good thing I'm not afraid about running into furry beers, huh? No <laughs> furry chance, friends. <laughs> no chance you fall too far. <laughs> So here we are, Derek Knob Shelter. Super hungry, so we're gonna eat something and just wait on uh, Rattler, Yogi, and Bars 
to catch up to us. It's it's been a serious climb. How many miles did we do from Russell Field? 8.9. Yeah, 8.9. Serious climbing all the way. And uh, we still have what? Six more to go. Six more to go to make it to Siler's Vault. But here's another beautiful shelter. Look at this, guys. It's gorgeous. Another really, these are just really, really nice. Not only do you have the bunks to sleep, but you got little tables, built-in tables here. Yesterday we played a game of dice and uh, just, it's just really, really nice. It's perfect, perfect accommodations. Spider one. And spider one yesterday. <laughs> so he holds the throne right now. Here we go. And there they go. We have been out here since seven o'clock this morning and it is officially 5.17 in the evening. We have done a total of 15, 14.7 she says. 15.13 I say either way we are finally at our final destination for this evening which is the Siler Bald shelter and it is a sight for sore eyes let's turn around and catch Raven I don't even want to see the condition of my feet right now. And it was nothing but climbing all day. All day. So we're we gonna we're gonna cut this video short because we want to get our gear off of us. Yeah. And maybe we'll give you guys a little tidbit later. Sure will. It's not quite as nice as the last shelter. That's what it looks like. Siler's bald, guys. Siler's bald. Hey there, there spider! All puckered up. Yes. Like me. Oh my god, that was a heck of a climb. Heck of a yeah. climb. All right, guys. So, so we arrived here at Siler's Bald, and we exhausted most of our water for the day. Uh, so we found the water source, which you can see runs down there. Levels out a little bit, and you can see where Raven's at. Water coming out of a PVC tube, which <clears throat> she's gonna fill up our sea knock now. Yeah. And it makes it easier to. Yeah, so they're just. Oh, just mud. To collect it. So it's nice that they do this for us. It makes it a lot easier to collect it from the stream. So. Otherwise, you try to get water out of. It's hard when you try in little puddles like that. So. But you could see the bags filling up kind of quick. Yep. It's good. It's refreshing. Yep. And we need water. That's for sure. It's been a long day. So with that said, we're going to go filter some water, make our dinner, get out of our wet clothes. Wet socks. And call it a day. Anything to say, Rave? Nope. Keep following, guys. We're still not done. It's been quite the adventure so far. <laughs>